here we are back to Finchuk. After finishing the studio build in Xinjiang, we got back to our home base, which is only six kilometers away from Kubala, the village where our first band is located. Thankfully, there's a bus connecting the two villages, but as always, there's a catch. So uh, today we had to, to ride on, on the bus, literally on top of the bus, because there was no room inside. So, and uh, the, this is uh, all the gear right there. We scheduled two full day sessions with Casa Voice, the band, in order to record three songs. We had previously established with Papis, the singer and frontman of the band, that the best location to record would be his own house, because it's situated on the outskirt of the village, where nothing other than pheasants and chickens would hinder our recordings. More on that later. Upon our arrival, we immediately felt drawn to the living room, as it had this nice live quality to it, which reminded us both of Buena Vista Social Club recordings. Furthermore, most of the furniture could be used as baffles, so we started to move things around to make an ISO booth and position the musicians in the room. We then set up the recording rig, which is when we realized that the lack of ground would be a serious issue as a component was leaking a fair bit of power through the chassis, but more concerningly, through the USB port into the computer. Troubleshooting did require some sacrifice by mild electrocution, after which we discovered most of the power leaked from the 500 series rack PSU. We also found this voltage regulator, which helped a bit, but we ultimately ended up disconnecting the 500 series rack altogether. The next best thing was to set up a second computer to run the Apollo, which was connected to the main sound card's line-ins, giving us two more preamps than the four built in the RME. We shut the window with a mattress and used a stereo pair of clarions on the drums, with a D12VR at the bottom to get some testicles. The obvious Atlantis went on the vocal and a 421 on the guitar, which was also DI'd just for the sake of it. Finally, after a lot of testing and impressive note-taking, we decided to set up a room mic in figure of eight to pick up both back vocals while rejecting the drums, and to get also some general liveliness of the room. Here's what it sounded like in our ears. These are the raw tracks simply put together without any process. <laughs> In case you're wondering, the language being sung here is Giola, which is the dialect from southern Senegal. Anyhow, by the end of the day, all the basic tracks were done. But before leaving, I noticed the capsule on one of our clarions was a bit loose, probably due to the extreme bus riding. So Simon, myself and a driver rode the six kilometers back to Finchuk on a motorcycle. That's singular. Simon started editing the tracks while I took the mic apart. I fastened the capsule assembly and put everything back together, which is when I found three bolts sitting on the table. Crap! 
Well, I put everything back together, all that to say that a screwdriver can prevent one from, well, getting screwed. I always travel with a box full of all sorts of audio adapters, tools, and other handy items like tape and wires that saved my ass more time than I can count. The next day we recorded all overdubs. Getting rid of the wandering pheasants and chickens had become somewhat of a tradition at this point. They developed the habit of creeping in the audience, however they are not particularly known to be the disciplined, considerate listeners we usually accept in the studio. So we began by doing back vocals using one mic in Omni. We recorded all three guys together with their respective harmonies twice to get a pretty stereo effect. Here's what both takes hard panned sounded like together. Once all the songs were canned, we moved on to recording the rapper's solos. Here's what it sounded like. Yo, Simit Sonny Bukamor Kulet, Purok Kulet, Kunyolo Lalko, Dibukal Furi Fulet, Ula Nonan in Kazamas, Sukasume, Lawal Tiker and Vajal Kasume, Nouvulon Vivre comme d'autres nations, Lamour la paix son omission, Boko de Sao cause des armes, Boko de l'arme à cause des armes. Notice anything there? Yes, your keen ear picked up the gracious sound of distortion, which we figured out was probably introduced by the bad power situation. Yeah, c'est ça. C'est ça. En plein ça. On va garder ça. Wow, ouais. Yes. Très très bon ça. We finished up by recording all the guitars again since the DI421 combo obviously sucked. What doesn't suck, however, is a pair of clarions with no drums or vocal leaking into them. All in all, this recording situation made us realize how little you need to have a genuinely good sound. Even with bad power, as long as any outside noise pollution is controlled and the room you're in sounds good, I guess the rest really is all about the talent and the performance. Check out the link in the video description to download some bonus material.